We're here at the Capuchin Day Centre in Dublin's inner city to find out more about the work that the Day Centre does in feeding the homeless and poor of Dublin. Every year uh, they provide 187,000 meals, uh, breakfast and lunch each day, as well as 52,000 food parcels uh, to help people who are coping with the difficult circumstances that they find themselves in. The centre has uh, funding of about 450,000 euros from the HSE but needs more than 1.3 million euros a year to keep going. So the work that you can do is to help fund that enterprise. Let's go in now to find out more about the really valuable work that goes on here at the Capuchin Day Centre. The purpose of the Capuchin Day Centre is to help people, help people in need to help people who are homeless, people who are on the streets. In 1969 we started the centre for the purpose of helping people who left their hostels early in the morning. And when we started in 1969 we had about 50 people coming to the centre. And now in 2011, in the morning time, we feed about 200 people. And for lunch in the afternoon, we have anything from 450 to 500 people each day. It's some place for people to come that have no homes, that to sleep rough in the streets. They can come here, get a hot meal. We'll open the door at 9 o'clock in the morning for breakfast. You could have them queuing from 20 past 8 on. Some days the mothers will be crying because they don't like living in the hostels. Some of them live in bed and breakfast. When they're in their bed and breakfast, they have to leave at 8 in the morning. They're not allowed back till 6. So they come in here and then we do let them stay if they do come in, other than that they have to walk around the streets. We come across all sorts really, but it's sad to see the kids and all, you know, in the conditions sometimes some of them come in. But we provide the showers for them, give them clothes. On a Wednesday we give out food parcels. Um, up to about two years ago we had about three to four hundred people coming for food parcels. Now we have over a thousand, which is a huge amount. Not alone are we just feeding homeless people, we are feeding the new poor, which is huge. Over the past two years, um, we're finding a, a lot of people are just out of work. Um, they have mortgages to try and meet, trying to feed their family, educate their kids, and it's a, it's a real problem for them. So people who normally wouldn't have accepted charity are now forced into a situation where they have to accept charity. We start packing about six o'clock in the morning, start packing the bags with everything, you know, general food, what you'd use, the basics, tea, sugar, bread, butter, whatever we have, we give. We give out between 900 and 1,000 bags every Wednesday. Uh, and that, that's between nine o'clock and 12 o'clock. All over Dublin, everywhere they come from. We have a doctor in three days a week, we have chiropodist in, we have the CWO, the welfare officer comes in. We get 450,000 euro from the government on a running cost of 1.3 million. So therefore, without the generosity of the people, it would be impossible for us to keep our lifeline in operation for the people in need. Kevin is great, he's fantastic, isn't he? He's a fantastic boss. He yeah. really is. Every penny comes in here, goes to the people, Every stitch of clothes goes to the people. I see everything Kevin has to pay for. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how he does it. Only for the goodness of the people, we'd be lost without the benefactors. Everybody is equal. Nobody is refused. It doesn't matter who they are. We don't ask any questions because it's, if we feel it's difficult enough for them to come to a place like this without putting all sorts of questions to them. For 2011, uh, we got a lot of nominated charities and uh, for the TIFF Charity Ball. A uh, difficult decision, but we decided to go with the Caption Day Centre for the Homeless. So when we select our charity every year for the, for the Charity Ball, we try and keep it to a current issue. This year we're picking a charity where we're, we're obviously recognising the uh, difficulties in our current economy and those people who are suffering from that. Uh, and, and we picked the Caption Centre for that reason. I hope you'll agree after everything that you've seen and heard that the Capuchin Day Centre really is a worthwhile charity for TIFF to support this year, 2011. Please give generously and uh, support people who really are in need. <laughs>